So most of the time we're looking at airplanes from a distance. And from a distance, they look beautiful. All the beautiful liveries, the colors, shapes and sizes, they get really creative with them. But the real truth is airplanes are not clean at all. Matter of fact, they're downright filthy. You have all sorts of dirt and grime all over the aircraft. Here's an example. This is a Boeing 787 and we're doing a walk around and just take a look at the belly. A whole bunch of streaks of dirt, dust, grime, skydrol, which is a hydraulic fluid. It's everywhere. Now to an untrained eye, you might think this is serious or there's some kind of a leak happening. Trust me, it's not. There is a thing called seepage. Remember, these are actuators and high pressure components. Aircraft go through pressurization, a massive amount of temperature change. So there's seals inside these components. They expand, they contract, hence you get seepage but they're not active leaks. It happens, it's normal, but that's why we as maintenance do walk arounds and make sure no active leaks are happening. Here's a look at the nose wheel well of a 319 and take a look at that. You see that, all that black stuff? That's rubber. Those are stoppers for the nose wheels. When the gear goes up, those little things basically will stop the wheel. But every time it does that, it will fling burnt off rubber. Again, bunch of dirt and grime. On the back wall, you see all those little spots. Believe it or not, that's grease. And majority of the dirt does come from grease. Aircraft require a ton of grease. All these joints, all these components need a smooth flowing action for them to operate properly. So we lubricate all the time. Same thing when it comes down to wheels and brakes. This is a wheel axle on a 777. It all gets greased up, all lubricated. Same concept for the brakes. Brakes also take some grease on the axle, but also most brakes are carbon. So lots of carbon dust. The other thing you have to realize, airplanes fly everywhere all across the world on every kind of weather you can imagine. So an aircraft landing in a rainy condition where there's mud or dirt or gravel, yeah, you're gonna get grease or, excuse me, dirt and grime get kicked up to the belly, even to the wheel well. This is a 737 wheel well. Notice, not very clean, right? Just because the way it's designed, when the gear come down on this aircraft, it exposes the wheel well. So if it's landing in a dirty environment, yeah, you're gonna get all sorts of dirt that's gonna get flung up inside there. But Trust me when I tell you, it's not gonna affect any of these components. All of them are a closed off system, so just a little bit of dirt and grease is not gonna affect anything at all. And on top of that, maintenance does walk arounds to make sure everything's okay. Take a look at the engines. Majority of these engines spew out also burnt off uh, oil. But let's talk about cleaning the airplane. How do we get them nice and pretty again? Like this. There's two types of cleaning. This is called a dry wash. There's another type of wash, which is a pressure wash. I'll talk about that later. Imagine you got your car washed and it rained. You really don't wanna wash your whole car again, but you can get a nice rag and just kind of wipe the water down. It's almost the same type of concept. What cleaning crews will do, will apply a non-toxic solution and also non-corrosive and basically wipe the belly of the aircraft down. And that's where majority of the dirt actually accumulates, the belly. Sometimes on uh, flight control surfaces as well because of glycol, which is the anti-ice anti fluid, but basically they will put the cleaning solution on and then wipe it off, which you end up with a nice clean aircraft. Now the big benefit to this is obviously a nice pretty clean airplane, but the secondary benefit is for maintenance because now that the airplane is nice and clean and pristine, now we can actually identify if there was an active leak. It shows up much, much quicker, you know, for again, for a trained eye. Now when an aircraft accumulates enough dirt or grime or is just not aesthetically pleasing anymore, they will schedule it to get cleaned. When it comes down to pressure cleaning with pressure washers, that's a little bit of a different cleaning. Every single time they do this, it's usually at a heavy check or a heavy check environment. But once that's done, once the pressure cleaning is done, they have to re-lubricate all those fittings because it blows off and cleans off all the grease. And the grease is very important. So once that's done, maintenance will come right behind them and re-lubricate all of it. This is why it's not done so often with the pressure cleaning. But overall, we try to maintain the aircraft as best as possible and try to keep them as clean as possible. That's about it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Now you know how they clean airplanes. Have fun. See you in the next one.